All right, so when you install WooCommerce when you're on Divi, you're gonna have your shop layout is gonna look kind of like this, which is a little ugly in my opinion, and I also like to have the Add to Cart uh, button here. So I'm gonna show you how to style this a little bit. Uh, it's a pretty easy process, and there's code involved, but it's, it's not hard at all, and it's pretty easy to follow. So first thing we're gonna do is go over to the plugins page. So head to your uh, WordPress admin and go to plugins, then press add new. And what we're going to search for is code snippet. Now I already have it installed, and so I'm going to go over to the left hand side here. We're going to see snippet somewhere. Where did it go? Oh, right there. I was blind. And we're going to add a new snippet. I'm going to call it WooCommerce Add to Cart. And we're going to add this code here. I'm going to put a link to the blog post that has all the codes that uh, need to be added to this. So, yeah, just add that code and press Run Snippet Everywhere and then Save Change Changes and Activate. Uh, make sure that it has, make sure you copy the code exactly how it is. And when you press Save Changes and Activate, now your page is going to look something like this. So this is still kind of ugly and what our goal is is to make it look like this. So what's happening here is that it's automatically giving me blue links so what I'm going to do is I'm going to implement this code which looks like this. So it's saying that the button is going to be full width, there's going to be a bit of a margin on top, uh, the products are going to be that width, they're going to have a bit of a margin, there's going to be a border along them, you can change the border color, uh, then there is a change in the button color, so you can change this if you want, if you've got a light button and you want to have a dark, um, yeah, dark text for the button, then you can change this to a darker color, uh, but I just have it as white here, so yeah, this is the code that we're going to do, and we're just going to go over here, so I'm using a plugin called custom CSS and JS which I'm using to do my CSS because I do have quite a bit of uh, different files so another way to do it though if you don't have as many as me and you're not really doing too much CSS is to just go into Divi uh, Divi sorry and then theme options and then general and then at the bottom of general you'll see custom CSS and you can add that in here. Now I'm going to have a link to that code as well. Uh, there's a few different styling options that I do have on my page so if you go to the blog I'll pull up the different styling options that I've got. I only have three right now but I am planning on adding more. So there's the full width with the border around it. Then there's the full width button without a border. And then there's uh, the floating right button. and yeah, I'll slowly add more designs to this later on. And hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully you found this useful. If you did, then please give me the thumbs up on the video and subscribe. And I will get back to you with another video shortly. All right, have a good one.